Hello, I'm Michael Whittington, Executive Director of the Monterey Museum of Art. The art colonies of the Monterey Peninsula began in the 1880s, and they have contributed to one of America's richest visual arts traditions. This video that you're about to see is a glimpse of our current exhibition, Monterey Modernism. The exhibition features paintings, watercolors, works on paper, and tile mosaics from the early 1900s through the 1950s by Monterey artists who worked in a modernist style. Among the foremost practitioners of the Monterey modernist aesthetic were three sisters, Helen, Esther, and Margaret Bruton. Local collectors, Teresa and Eric Del Piero, have formed the most extensive collection of the Bruton sisters' works and are generous lenders to this exhibition. Hi, my name's Eric, and this is my wife, Teresa Del Piero, and we are so pleased uh, to uh, loan a number of our works by the Bruton sisters to the Monterey Museum of Art for their exhibition on Monterey Modernism. The Bruton sisters are very special to us. We actually purchased a home that the three sisters lived in and had their art gallery uh, on site, or I should say art uh, studio on site. And the interesting thing about uh, the sisters is we um, unearthed some stepping stones in the backyard when we were getting ready to demolish the building uh, and discovered that they had mosaics on the bottom of them. We found buried treasure in yes. the backyard of, of the old house. Uh, it intrigued us. We wanted to learn more about the Bruton sisters. We knew that they had a kiln on the property uh, and we found a lot of little bits and pieces of things and, and started to do some research, started to learn about who these women are. Um, they were part of the Monterey Art Colony. They lived about a half a block from Armin Hansen, down the hill from Burton Boundy. Uh, they really were part of this art scene. They knew all of the important uh, artists of the time and, um, and really participated in this modernism movement uh, in Monterey. Uh, the three sisters really were at the right place at the right time as far as their educational exposures were concerned. Uh, they had the opportunity to study in New York at the Art Students League. They had the opportunity to be able to see all of the mo modern works of art at the Panama Pacific Exhibition. And they also had the opportunity to be able to go to Paris in 1925. 1925 was in the middle of the Roaring Twenties. It was a seminal year when the first Art Deco show uh, was, was opened and they were exposed to all of these new, very different and cutting edge uh, art techniques and works of art that had never been seen before. And these three women from, from California then subsequently brought back all of the things that they had learned from Europe and started to make modern art of their own here in, in Monterey, California. We have a wonderful example of a Margaret Bruton uh, oil painting, the harmonica. Uh, we have a, a woodblock piece by Helen Bruton uh, that's part of the Monterey Museum of Arts collection. And we have a wonderful terrazzo uh, piece by Esther Bruton. Uh, the Bruton sisters were very, very dynamic artists. Uh, they were um, modern, I think, before anyone thought of calling them modern. Uh, they have an interesting background and an interesting training that I think led them to this modernism style. We're excited about the show, and we hope everyone else will be as well.